what's going on guys perspective here and today we're going to take a look at the thermal take v200 tempered glass rgb edition by so according to thermal takes official website this is a mid tower case obviously it has four pre-installed fans inside already 120 millimeter fans that would be the three rgb in the front and then one non-rgb in the back it also weighs about 15 little over 15 and a half pounds or 7.1 kilograms depending on if you use the metric system it has a four millimeter tempered glass side panel also can fit an additional two more 120 or 140 millimeter fans on the top and also just to put it out there you can fit one two 140 millimeter fans on the front as well if you didn't like the three 120 millimeter fans already there it also can support one 240 rad on the top oh, i apologize one 240 rad in the front or a 280 rad in the front and also a 120 in the back and as far as clearance is concerned it can fit CPU coolers with a maximum height of 160 millimeter, graphics cards with a maximum length of 380 millimeters, and power supplies up to 170 millimeters. One of the things that I hate about opening case boxes is the handles get stuck inside the styrofoam when you're trying to take it out. So just gotta let them flap out like wings here. That is my Service Pro 7. Love that thing, by the way. Maybe I'll do a review on it, I'm not sure. So we got the manual lodged into this uh, fin here in the bottom. We got that 120 non-LED fan in the back. We got this grill. I hate grills like this because it impedes airflow, but whatever. We got the space here for the two 120 millimeter or 140 on the top. Oh, dude. So the front, it's clear on the front. I thought it was gonna be a glass front panel, but it looks like it's plastic. But I mean, for how much I got it for, I can't complain, but for regular price, I don't know if I like plastic in the front. But it's just the material, but it might change when it gets all lit up, so we'll see. That's a nice little touch. So on the glass panel on the back, I don't know if you can see it, but I'll get a closer view on it. There is these covers or whatever, protectors for the edges on the back on the glass. That's a nice touch. That was easy to remove. Shortest thumb screws ever. Nice, it looks pretty good inside. So, a lot of ventilation looks like down here. You got a little window there if you wanna show off your power supply. So the front fans, the front thermal take fans, it's like similar to the Airflow series of Corsair fans. We got the RGB fan controller here. One thing to note is it only controls three RGB fans and then one non-RGB fan. You got your USB 3.0 and your USB cables here that go to the front IO, which there is two USB 2.0 and one USB 3.0. You got one microphone jack, one headphone jack, the RGB button to control the RGBs on here, and reset button and a power button. Yeah, one more thing. The bag with the screws appears to be right here in the bottom in the power supply cage. And uh, yeah, now that we've taken a quick look at it, let's build in it. On with the time lapse.
did get them out of this little bracket here. It was scraping onto the motherboard. God, that was horrible. Did not like that at all. So that's the Thermaltake V200 Temper Glass RGB Edition. And while it does look like a nice build, there was a couple of things I didn't like about it. One of the big things, probably the biggest thing that I didn't like is that the PCI plates in the back, when you remove them during the build, it would scratch against the motherboard, potentially causing damage to it. And that really pissed me off just because I've never had that happen in the build. The cases that I've built in were pretty much safe for the most part. But another thing that I didn't like about it was the mounting location of the two and a half inch drive. They're right here. I really didn't like it because it just kind of stuck out like a sore thumb to me and I would have preferred them being on a bracket down here in the power supply shroud. Also, uh, I was also unable to evenly space out the front 120 millimeter fans. Uh, if you see here, this one in the bottom is more spaced out compared to the two on the top. And for me, I couldn't unsee that. However, I did try to modify it to try and get it closer to the two fans but unfortunately the screw was too short because the hole that I drilled into the front was uh, I guess a little bit more recessed compared to the previous hole but besides all of that I do have to say that there were a couple things that I liked about it um, the cable management was okay I didn't think it was anything to write home about but it was enough to be able to manage cables I didn't like that uh, I would try and manage cables here and the power supply shroud just reveals everything that I have managed right here when you're looking down into the case. I like the plastic protectors on the back edge of the side glass panel. So when you're doing the initial first build, when you're putting it down on the ground, you can put that end on the ground that's protecting your glass side panel, which I thought was a really nice touch. Um, the RGB fans, I would have to say that came with the build were decent. That RGB 
RGB mode included in the controller though is a little slow for my taste. If there was a way to speed it up, it would be nice. But I would say the overall build experience is good. Nothing too concerning except for the removal of the PCI plates here in the back. But uh, if I could rate the build experience, I would have to rate it a 3 out of 5. Um, if there was a hidden area for the 2.5 inch drives or even more importantly, a safer way to remove the PCI plates in the back without scratching the motherboard, I would have given it a much higher score. Aesthetically, I would give it a solid 4 out of 5, but the RGB fans that I installed in the front made it look even better. I couldn't give it more than that though because I just didn't see this as a perfect score. But yeah, those are pretty much my thoughts on the Thermaltake V200 Temper Glass RGB Edition. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, subscribe and stay tuned because I will see you in the next video. Peace.